this is the introduction of the utility so in the sap utility uh, we have electricity water gas and sewers oil industries telecom industries but uh, we are only specification on the isu not is oil or isut so we are working only on the isu electricity water gas and sewers okay what is the means uh, use of this our sap has introduced so we will in this module uh, we will mostly be uh, go through for all these water electricity and gas but what is the difference most of the parts are same there will be only difference while doing the installation part okay this is the installation for water this is the installation for gas or this is the installation for electricity only that makes the changes so rest of like that uh, i think you are aware of the bp business partner right yes lipiana meanwhile you know what is bp what is contract account and all the, what is the master data i think most of things you know so the big difference while we are creating installation it will show this is the gas installation this is the electricity installation or this is the water installation only okay. that makes the difference now there is a concept in utility regulated and deregulated so what is the regulation regulation is nothing but where the individual entities i think you are using the electricity currently which state you are living yes we are using electricity and water i mean yes all of them basically so what is your uh, region where you are getting the electricity that is regulated or deregulated means deregulated concept is there where the multiple source of supply means uh, like if you are living in the texas there will be uh, txu energy one direct energy is the second company and the third company is uh, lu these are the three four service provider which is providing the electricity in your states so it is your choice that uh, who is giving the best offer for you for the electricity or a gas who is giving the best price you will choose that organization and take the electricity source as a supply right so that part is known as the deregulated part and regulated part is that uh, where there is no option government is providing the electricity like in india you don't have a deregulated like saudi arabia uh, like dubai or these are the uh, place where there is a regulated only government supply they are providing there is a no multiplier uh, suppliers example uh, i think you understand what is the concept of regulated or deregulated not not very much so can you okay. explain just a little bit for yeah me, uh, see regulated means a single uh, if you are living in a, such a country where regulation is there government is giving all the facilities and the private players are not there let's suppose uh, government has provided the meter government has provided the line electric city line and the government has provided the gas connection and everything is a government uh, dealing and uh, billing of this and invoicing you have to pay to the government that is known as the regulation okay there is single office you will go to the government office they will give the form fill the form take the electricity take the gas or take the water pay the bill like this in the most of other region like uk us australia canada there is a multiple private players are there like uh, txu energy is the one player i think you had i think you had here or not which place you are living i will tell the suppliers currently which place you are living yes um, yes um, in us yes in us uh, there was a more uh, txu energy are you aware in your house which company is giving the electricity yes alabama power regulates everything that is uh, regulated or deregulated uh, regulated okay there is single uh, so source of supply right there is no yes. other multiple players then that yes. is known as the regulated so uh, means you cannot switch to other organization right so this is the actual concept uh, of regulated and deregulated in the in the us i think uh, 80 to 90% now there is a regulated and a smart meter concept deregulated means uh, today your service provider means electricity service provider is charging more and you are not happy with your service provider and uh, means there was another service provider known as lu Liberty Utility or TXU Energy or Direct Energy or Oklahoma Energy and you want to switch then you will just take your phone and call boss I want to change this supply 
and uh, they will change everything in the system but in the physically it will it will be same as currently so there will not be any switching in your system but the physically the system from oklahoma energy will transfer to the txu energy so currently your uh, consumption per unit consumption is one dollar maybe they will ask i will give you the point uh, nine uh, cent per unit consumption charges like that that is known as the deregulation you are free to change anything that is known as deregulated you have multiple plants you are free to do any changes but in the regulation you are not free to do any changes because there is no other company who is providing these services like mobile yeah. company uh, you want to switch from any uh, mobile uh, network to any other mobile number uh, network without changing the uh, mobile number same process for electricity gas and water also we had provided in utility okay it makes sense now yes it makes sense so this topic already i discussed we have a following modules in sap isu this is totally introduction uh, nothing just a high level of the isu details okay so customer services customer services nowadays change to c4c uh, i think you are aware of c4c or you had heard the name of c4c or not i'm not sure if anything detail about you know the c4c you can tell me C4C. what is c4c yeah, yeah go ahead please no no I'm, I'm not no just just remind me please okay no sure so at least c4c is earlier there was a customer services customer services what uh the sap module which is dealing with the front end uh, means uh, crm type customer relationship they are working that is known as isu cs customer services you want to do any complain activity like your meter is running fast your consumption is very high your bill is not correct all these types of activity will be de deal with the customer services okay now sap has closed this customer services and converted to the c4c c4c is nothing but a 365 degree view you can do all these activities you want to issue the letter to warning letter to the customer you want to send the message there your last bill has not been submitted you want to send the message that this is your disconnection due period if you will not pay on this time all these types of information will be convert uh, covered in the c4c module okay right. now this is not a part of utility this is the separate box you are aware of the box links and servers right yeah so c4c is a completely separate system so this is the auto interlinked with the utility so once the business partner is created in the c4c it will be auto reflected in the sap utility words in isu okay then the concept of billing why means what is billing billing is nothing but what is the consumption you had used in your electricity gas or water that consumption will be multiplied by some amount right Right. including meter rent what is the meter rent including the resource who are coming to take the electricity meter reading that some amount these are all calculated and that calculation is under billing module okay like gas consumption or electricity consumption or a water consumption then what is the tariff tariff is nothing but a price okay let's suppose in your house you had used a 20 unit in a one month or 200 unit in a month and your price is 1.2 dollar right 1.2 dollar per unit so your electricity will be uh, nearby 1.2 into 200 220 units uh, 220 dollar uh, apart from that then the resource who is coming to take the meter reading he will charge one dollar two dollar or three dollar per meter so let's suppose he has dollar five dollar so one and two hundred twenty five dollar is your billing consumption then there will be a some tax tax means uh, regulatory taxes are there gst or egst igst something is there so that tax will be included that is known as the invoicing you know, the final bill you will get the consumption charge plus meter rent charge plus taxes that is known as the invoice amount that is the complete amount which is converted into pdf and uh, pdf or a print document and you will receive that is the billing and invoicing module it will take care in the billing and invoicing module is it clear yes then device management what device management is nothing but a module 
which maintains the device related information like meter what type of meter is this what is the scheduled date to take the meter reading who is going to take the meter reading when they will upload the meter reading result for the billing if meter is burned who is when it is going to be replaced if meter is not running correct or some issue what type of register is there all these issues will be taken care in the device management module okay by name itself it is saying this device device related all the information will be controlled through device management okay is it clear yes now we will move to next topic that is finance fica once everything is completed now the part where we are going to store what amount you had given what amount as a billing you had paid somewhere history need to be maintained okay 